if you did something bad yesterday, the Lord wants you to say you're sorry today and just do better tomorrow. The point is that after making a mistake, we need to face up to it. We need to tell the truth. That is integrity, telling the truth and honoring promises no matter the consequences. Your child. Say hi. No, 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 no. <laughs> JJ, say hi. Sit down. Happy family. Day, so I ran out the door and then I kind of just stood there. It's just you and him. Yes. And he basically comes at you with a bat. Yeah. You tell him to put it down. Yeah. He's spread, like, yeah. um, what are you going to do about it? Yeah. And then he just came at you. Yep. You shot him. Yep. Okay. And you're thinking a couple times? I don't know, it's more than one shot. We got one subject down, apparently, parents don't shot one to the chest. Copy. Uh, Copy. Uh, Copy. Uh, Copy. Uh, several guns shot one. There's a couple of shell cases behind. We were all right there in that room, except for the kids had been outside by that time, and I heard the gun shot. I had gone around to the kitchen to get away from him. I didn't see the shot, I heard it, and then I came back around and I saw that he was on the ground. I was just freaking out and it just went into mama and I'm like, I've gotta to go to the kitchen, she just went back into the kids. Just worked a 12-hour shift, got off, ate, took a shower and all that stuff, and I was kicked back eating some ice cream, actually, and the phone rang, and it was Kay. She told us that Charles had been shot and killed by Alex in a, some kind of domestic dispute. I wanted to go over there and visit him with a little baseball bat, seek some vengeance. I'm gonna wear another hat. Have you bummed my heart? <laughs> Thank you. JJ, do it. Give me another one. Oh, yeah. faithful LDS woman in that uh... she was talking about like there's no need for repentance that's just plain wrong like and I'm not like and so I push back on that one that's... why did she say that or what she said she, she found it in the Bible we don't need to repent anymore we've come to that stage where like, when she says we was she talking about like her and Chad or all you guys uh, she was trying to get us all to believe that 
But at that time, she believed that she did not need to repent. Translated? Yeah. Yep. Yep. That happens a lot to you. She thought I was translated as well. Or in process, I should say. She didn't think I was translated. In process. Valo Daybell is booked in the Ada County Jail in Boise. See where we're chasing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Follow me. I shall offer the dedicatory prayer in which all of you are invited to join. Immediately at the close of the dedicatory prayer, we invite each one of you who may wish to participate to stand and join with us in the Hosanna shout. This sacred salute to the Father and the Son is given at the dedication of each of the temples. I will now demonstrate the shout each one takes a clean white handkerchief, holding it by one corner, and waves it while saying in both in unison, Hosanna, 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 to God and the Lamb, repeated three times, followed by Amen, Amen, and Amen. All right, brothers and sisters, please stand if you will. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to God and the Lamb. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to God and the Lamb. Hosanna, Hosanna. To God and the Lamb. Amen. Amen. And Amen. At the time, though, so oh, at the time, did, um, yeah, before yes. you did your research, I, and all that yes, stuff. Yes, yeah. I remember telling mom after Alex Cox died, Alex, in December, yeah, December 12, 2019, he died, and I was like, Are y'all being safe? You're, you know, I was worried. She was like, Oh, you know, they're hitmen, he's dead, and I was like, What about the rest of them? Oh, I didn't know what this cult consisted of and they kill for beliefs there's people dropping dead for their beliefs you know and so i would go outside just as a stress reliever my kids would be in bed and i had this this uh, barrel and i remember just i'd break boxes down and just and i'd look in the fire and i'd be like gosh she's gonna be hot you know and just i would think and process everything 
And if I saw, when I'd see a car, I remember like, you know, just kind of ducking and just like, why, why are they driving so slow? Are they going to shoot me? You know? Yes. And I found a Jesus card in my house. This is what I'm saying. I brought out the second anointing um, in August of 2021 on my YouTube channel. And uh, it seemed to strike a nerve. I got a card. It has Jesus on the front. And on the back, it says, and because I'd signed up to the website in the very beginning of this, because I didn't know, I wanted to learn more about Mormonism. I wanted, and so you sign up to the site. Well, it said, hi, I use the name K. That's my middle name. Okay. So when I signed up, I just happened to do that. And they put, hi, K. It's the missionaries. Hope all is well. Give us a call at 409, whatever. And I was like, it was in my living room on the floor, on the floor. And I'm not, I mean, I have no reason to fabricate <laughs> for what <laughs> I'm good. There's enough drama. It's alarming. But me and my fiance, we, we tried debunking like how I got into the living room floor, but just for it to even be on my property period, we, we don't have missionaries where I live. The area code that was left it was an hour and 15 minutes away. You know, it's closest temple um, with that area code. It's uh, we uh, bought protection. <laughs> yeah. And we're not scared um, because I'll be damned. <laughs> They're not going to bully me. I don't. Did you think it was a warning? Oh, God, yes. Oh, God, yes. I feel like a walking target. I'm glad it's not in Rexburg. I, I, I don't feel safe. Wow. Calling out this wealthy, multi-billion-dollar corporation that has a lot of uh, power. You can feel it. You can feel it. Do, do, we do, get do you think that was sent from the church? You think it was? It had the Lowry? Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. 